Hi, this is my dear friend Gina. <laughs> We've known each other for 15 years. We used to work together way back when. And she now lives on this beautiful farm in Torrealba, Costa Rica. And today she's going to tell us about Waldorf schools. Because she's always telling me about <laughs> Waldorf schools. She's always, it's like, it's like your religion. Waldorf, Waldorf, Waldorf. And um, I don't have any children myself, but Gina, why did you send your children to the Waldorf school? Why? Well, there are so many things to say about, so many beautiful things to say about Waldorf school. It's difficult to know where to start. But I think the main, the main point about Waldorf that differs from other school methods is Waldorf tries to produce a balanced human being. What is a balanced human being according to Waldorf? Okay, a balanced human being is somebody who has his intellectual balance with his emotional and his will. Okay, let's explain these terms. Many people, when you read the, when you read papers about Waldorf, you're like, oh, what do they mean? Sounds strange. Okay, now the intellectual part is easy to understand. They call it in Waldorf the thinking part. Most school, most school will heavily address the thinking part. Um, okay, we don't go to school to learn how to dance ballet. We go to school to learn how to read, to do mathematics. Those are skills that allow human beings to function in this world. Okay, and it just is basically what makes the difference between human beings and, and animals. Now, um, this is very important for Waldorf, and they have a, an extraordinary method to teach mathematics and to teach to read. But for Waldorf, it is not enough to have taught these basic things to a child. It is very important that the child. Um, develops very strong self-confidence. Self-confidence is your passport, the passport for your future. And the school believes it has to be a third of their program, building up the child's self-confidence. The child has to always feel capable. What does that mean, self-confidence? What does that mean, emotional part? It means that the child must always feel capable and the child must always accept himself the way he is. This is priority number one for all the teachers. Okay. Now, what is this third thing, the will? Everybody's like, oh, what does that mean, the will? And I want to say, what does that mean, the will? Well, um, according to Waldo, will is whenever you have to do something beautiful, like sitting down and studying German, um, uh, writing a report, cleaning up after yourself, going to visit your sick grandmother. In... Well, will is whenever you have to do something beautiful, that you do it with joy, persistence, and perseverance. Now, art is beautiful. Children do do it with joy, and all our teachers ask persistency, perseverance. It has to be finished, and it has to be finished neatly. So, and now what, what difference have you seen in your own children? Because you started your own model school here in Tobiago, right? Well, let's say I motivated a group of parents to open a school. I went virtually door to door, bugging everybody, and finally found a group of 10 parents, and we all together opened the school uh, here. Uh, what difference? Well, it's difficult because my children have never been to another system. So it is a bit uh, difficult for me to say. However, my oldest da daughter, now she's 12 years old, um, and she, she went to Germany last year. She has decided, oh, she wants to go live in Germany. So her father got her a couple of books, a couple of study books that he had when he was a child there. And I'm just amazed that every day, without being asked for hours and hours, she would be practicing. She has finished alone all the fifth grade program in math alone. I've never asked her to do that. Her persistency really amazes me, and I, I do believe it is due to all those. Uh, what other thing? I don't know. I'm, I'm just pleased. <laughs> <laughs> but I would not know what the difference would be. I mean, okay, okay, big thing, really, that's a big difference. 
my daughter happily go to school, my daughters. Sometimes when I want to punish them, I say, tomorrow no school. <laughs> I know the other day, really it was just impossible to get my daughter to get ready in the morning she wanted to play mm -hmm. and then i said i said okay you don't you don't uh, you, you don't uh, eat on time you don't take your shower you will not go to school this was a big tragedy oh, big really? tragedy i didn't realize that was her punishment that was her punishment oh, wow. that was a big tragedy and the whole day she kept asking me what she could do to help me so I could forgive her and, you know, <laughs> not risk not to go to school. So that's a big difference because in Turialba, where I live, uh, I, uh, the majority of children, especially the kindergarten children and the first two, three grade children, not the majority, but I have seen a number of children crying in the morning. Yes, because they, because they have to go to school. Because they have to go to school where they do heavy intellectualization at an early age. The world of is completely that. It is most important to get the child to love to learn. It is a powerful tool that world of tries to give to children the love of learning. Um, of course, it has a great method to teach things, but it also gives these tools. Uh, that is so important in life. Well, Gina, I can see you're really passionate about this, but we're running out of time. Okay. So, but you've definitely convinced me when I have my own children, I will definitely send them to a Waldorf school. Oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Well, thank you. <laughs>